Hi guys, you're watching my Kemper Profiling Amplifier series. In this series, I'll be going through a handful of clean, mid-gain and high-gain profiles, showing you exactly how they sound straight out of the box, plugged into the interface. There's also a separate video in this series detailing why I got the Kemper in the first place and how I use it in my professional work. Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode in my Kemper Profiling Amplifier series. A series that's designed to show you guys how the Kemper sounds plug straight into your interface using some of my favourite profiles that I use in my professional work. I just want to say thank you to everyone that checked out my last video. I got about 650 views in the last two weeks, which has been the most amount of views I've had in a short period of time so far. I also want to say hi to all the new subscribers and I hope you enjoy my channel. So today's video is all about mid-gain and great breakup tones. I'm going to be going through three of my favourite profiles from Michael Britt, showing you exactly how they sound and telling you why I like using them. Specifically, we'll be going through the Cal Texan profile, a profile of a Mesa Boogie Lone Star, one of my favourite amplifiers, a Vox AC50, a great, great British amplifier, and finally a Two Rock SP50. The Mesa Boogie Lone Star is one of my favourite amplifiers of all time because of its versatility. It's got a really, really warm, rich, thick, clean tone and a brilliant, smooth, but really articulate overdrive channel. Michael Britt's Caltexan profile is no exception to this. It's got a really, really tight focused mid-range that gives you plenty of articulation and attack. If you roll down your volume pot, you can get really, really warm, but also chimey clean tones. Brilliant for a lot of things like the police, if you were gonna chuck a chorus on it, but also really good for jazz if you're gonna use the neck pickup. This profile is incredibly diverse and incredibly dynamic. If you dig in a little harder, you get a brilliant breakup tone, but at the same time, it's really responsive to the volume pot. For a little bit of extra juice, if you engage the compressor, it brings everything together, but at the same time retains the articulation and the attack that you wanted in the first place. If you engage the boost, you get a brilliant, just warm, smooth rock rhythm tone. So this is why it's one of my favorite profiles. The Two Rock SP50 is one of my favorite all-round rock rhythm tones. I really like the voicing of it. It sounds quite British, but at the same time has a little bit of American flavor to it. It's really, really articulate and really, really dynamic. So if you roll back your volume, you can still get great clean tones. As the Two Rock SP50 is so responsive and so diverse, I would specifically use it in a lot of alternative rock scenarios. It's got just enough gain that if you hit it, it gives you that really, really nice crunch. But the moment you roll down your volume, you get a really, really nice warm, articulate clean sound that's perfect with verses. Finally, the AC50 profile is everything that we love about this British amplifier. It's glassy, it's bright, and it's really articulate. I find this profile brilliant for if I'm having to get some sort of Andy Summers tone. It's really, really glassy, articulate sound. It's perfect when you put a little bit of reverb, delay, and chorus on it. Mm-hmm. 